train myself not to feel, train myself not to get but only so happy because I know if I get so happy, I'm gonna get let down. I know if I love that person over there, eventually they're gonna hurt me and I'm gonna be back guarded by myself. But I wanna let you know that you don't have to live like that because yes, you're gonna get let down. Yes, your heart is going to get broken. People aren't gonna be able to give you everything that you give to them. Nobody can. And I know a lot of people don't believe, and I will say that over and over again, but my belief is, can't nobody satisfy me like Jesus? Can't nobody fill me up like God? Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you so much for joining me for the first Friday mommy moment of 2020. Hold, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. The first thing that we do on Friday mommy moments is do our Friday shout outs. Let's get to it. The first shout out that I want to do today is going to Andrea One Fab Mama. You are so amazing and I pray nothing but the ultimate joy for you this year and that God grants all your heart's desires and I wish you the best of grace, mercy, and awesomeness with your YouTube channel. You guys, if you do not know her, go ahead and check her out. I will leave her information in the description box. The second shout out is going to all my jump start January people. You guys, we are doing amazing on this weight loss journey for Jumpstart January. As you can see, I am still pumped up, but I just want to say welcome and shout you guys out and thank you so much for supporting me and allowing me to be able to support you guys. I am so excited to see so many people come together and draw in unity to do this for ourselves and for each other. It is amazing when so many people come together for a good purpose. So my shout out is to all of you Jumpstart January jump start January and if you don't know about the jump start January ah, I will leave a link right here for you to go in check it out now let's get into this Friday mommy moment shall we I think we shall for so long I lived my life not letting myself feel things meaning I wouldn't allow myself to cry and if I did cry I would beat myself up on the inside and be like you know you're crying because you're weak or that's basically how I was raised, you know, if you if you cry, that's a sign of weakness. If you feel, that's a sign of weakness. You have to be tough. And the environment that I, that I grew up in, this world, it's a cold world out there. If you're not strong at that time, I thought, if you're not strong, then you will fail. You will die out there in that cold world. And I was so used to getting hurt, getting let down, totally broken and crumbled that I continue to build layers and layers and my heart began to grow cold. You ever hear how when God talks about your heart is cold, your heart is stone and you just can't feel and I feel like that's where I was in life. And it was so much so that even if I saw somebody get hurt that didn't deserve it, I didn't allow myself to feel. I wouldn't allow myself to feel anything for anybody and I would have to say those were some of the most horrible, unhappiest years that I've ever lived. Can you imagine living without feeling or building up these walls and these barriers where it creates this, I don't feel anything, I'm tough, I'm big, I'm bad. When you don't allow yourself to feel, you miss out on a lot. And I feel like if I didn't have a heart that was so cold, a heart that was so guarded, I feel like maybe God would have been able to reach me sooner. But you know, God's timing is perfect. But I feel like I missed out on so many things because I allowed the hurt, the fear, the anxiety, all the things of this world to cause my inside to shut down. Train myself not to feel, train myself not to get, but only so happy because I know if I get so happy, I'm gonna get let down. 
I know if I love that person over there, eventually they're gonna hurt me and I'm gonna be back guarded by myself. But I wanna let you know that you don't have to live like that. Because yes, you're gonna get let down. Yes, your heart is going to get broken. People aren't gonna be able to give you everything that you give to them. Nobody can. And I know a lot of people don't believe, and I will say that over and over again, but my belief is, can't nobody satisfy me like Jesus? Can't nobody fill me up like God? Because he does something for me. Can't explain it, I can't grasp it, but I know it's there. It's no matter what I go through, or what I feel sometimes my husband's encouragement isn't enough and I have to draw into God because God is the source and as we grow older and as we live this life we will continue to see that man is just not enough this world is not enough we have to dig deep and if we don't dig deep into God we will turn stone and we will turn cold because even though the world don't give us back what we give the world God does even though some things in our life may make us want to turn into stone and grow cold. We cannot grow cold. We cannot grow bitter. We must stay on fire. When we don't allow ourselves to feel because of fear, we don't allow ourselves to feel because of heartache, when we don't allow ourselves to feel because of this world, we grow cold and dark just like this world. And I don't want to be cold and dark and I don't want you to be cold and dark either. I want you to feel. I want you to know that it's all right to open your heart, even though your heart might get broken. Sometimes my husband makes me sad. It's not his intent, but he does. And sometimes I make him sad. Life makes us sad. Life makes us happy, but God keeps us leveled. He comes and he fills the voids. He comes and he softens back up our heart, but he can only soften up our heart if we allow him in. So to those out there who used to be like me, and if I allow myself, I can get back guarded too. I wanna encourage you to start opening up little by little. Start giving God room to work in your life and see what he does this year. See what he does the year after. I don't want you to go through life not feeling. I don't want you to go through life fearing to love again, fearing to love yourself, to let yourself be open and free. I don't want you to live like that because it was not great for me. It was horrible for me. And I always like to come and share my truth because I don't want somebody to go through what I went through. So you guys, that is my Friday mommy moment. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you was able to receive. I always just want to come and do what God has me to do. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys next Friday, Lord willing. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, please know that here on the Soren Seaman Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people.